the homicide of a local woman is gaining national attention after a blog post identified her as a transgender woman of color. The Cincinnati Police Department says Kyrie Sanders was shot and killed in Clifton earlier this month. Now, CPD says her death is not a hate crime, but still, the human rights campaign says she's the, the 11th transgender person killed violently this year. Our Marielle Carbone reports on the case and the violent trend. Every life should be honored, including Diamond Kyrie Sanders, a transgender woman of color. There are these staggering statistics of violence against trans women of color. Sanders was killed on March 3rd. Police say they were called to the scene here on Morrison Avenue in Clifton around 340 that morning. When officers arrived, they found Sanders shot in the parking lot. She was taken to the hospital where she later died. A spokesperson for CPD says her homicide was absolutely not a hate crime. Police say evidence points to robbery as the motive. Still, advocates believe it's too early to rule out a hate crime. Oh, I don't feel that HRC has um, enough information to really make a determination in this case, but I think to altogether dismiss the possibility of you know, hurting transgender as a motivating factor mm -hmm. is pretty negligent. Faith Gingrich Getz is the political co-chair of the Human Rights Campaign Greater Cincinnati Steering Committee and says hate crimes happen much more than reported. Particularly trans women of color are often not reported or misreported mm -hmm. by law enforcement. According to the HRC, trans women of color are seven times more likely to be murdered than the national average. The campaign put out this blog post over the weekend. It's just increased stigma against trans women of color. Gingrich Getz hopes more awareness around the stigma can help bring more protection to the entire LGBTQ community. Where, you know, Ohio doesn't currently have a law that addresses hate or bias crimes based on gender identity. In Clifton, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.